Today, we're going to discuss two methods for calculating elapsed time. Elapsed time simply means how much time has passed between two events. When calculating elapsed time, there is a beginning or start to an event and an ending time. We will use a t-chart to break down and count the amount of time between the start and the end. First, we'll skip count by hours. If we skip count by hours, only the hour will change in our counting. So one hour after 6.40, our starting time, will be 7.40. We can count another hour without going past our end time. If we count one more hour, it will be 8.40. Now, we can't count by hours anymore. If we did, then we would pass our end time. One more hour would be 9.40, so instead we count by minutes. An easy number to skip count by is 10, so we'll count by 10 minute intervals until we get to our end time. Now all we have to do is find the total number of hours and minutes by adding like terms. One hour plus one hour equals two hours. And four tens is forty, so our elapsed time, or time that passed, is two hours and forty minutes. The next method for calculating elapsed time is called the backwards end method. In this method, you start by writing the start time. Then you find how many minutes it is until the next whole hour. You can simply count from the number of minutes in your start time to 60 in order to find the number of minutes to the next whole hour. Then you skip count by hours to the whole hour in your end time. Finally, you add the number of minutes it takes to get to your end time. To calculate how much time has passed between your start and end time, you add the hours and minutes. If you get a larger number than 60 for the minutes, you'll need to convert minutes to hours by subtracting 60 because there are 60 minutes in an hour. When you get a number smaller than 60, that is the number of minutes in your elapsed time. 